Hi, I'm Liz, physiotherapist from My Physio to Go. You are here probably because you have been diagnosed with BPPV and want to know how to get rid of it. Let's get started. Do this maneuver only if you have posterior canal BPPV. Start by long sitting on your bed. Make sure there is room at the end so the head can hang off the edge. If you're experiencing dizziness and vertigo with turning the head toward the right, turn the head 45 degrees over to the right Keep the head turned and lay straight down on your back and extend the head by about 15 degrees. Hold this position until the dizziness goes away. Once it's gone, turn the head over to the left and again wait until the dizziness subsides. Then roll your body so you are lying on the left side but keep the head turned. You should be looking down to the floor at this point. After the dizziness has subsided, bring your legs down and sit up. You can look straight ahead. Again, wait for the dizziness to subside. You may need to repeat this two to three times in a session and with each time, the amount of time it takes for the dizziness to settle should decrease. After this treatment, you need to avoid looking down and quick turns of the head for 24 to 48 hours. Some people find it helpful to put on a neck collar to prevent them and remind them of not looking down. When you sleep, you will need to sleep in an inclined position. The body senses balance, the direction we're moving, and accelerate deceleration using our inner ear. The inner ear organs that allow us to sense these motions are the semicircular canals and the otolith organs. Both are filled with fluid. Calcium crystals are located inside the otolith organs, and when these crystals get dislodged into the semicircular canals, it causes the fluid to shift abnormally in the canals, leading to dizziness and vertigo. This is called BPPV. Most of the time, crystals get dislodged into the posterior canal and the Epplesen maneuver shown earlier in this video helps reposition the calcium crystals to its original space. If crystals are in a different canal, other maneuvers are used. Sometimes these crystals get dislodged for no reason and other times it can be caused by concussion, trauma, inner ear infection, diabetes, osteoporosis or lack of blood flow. Residual dizziness after a BPPV maneuver can occur. Some studies show that up to two-thirds of treated patients continue to have some dizziness occur after successful treatment. The reason for residual dizziness are that there are remaining displaced crystals that do not produce enough movement to be put back into its normal place. There may be a problem with the otolith organs in the inner ear. The body's central nervous system may need more time to adapt to the new positioning of crystals. So what can increase the risk of residual dizziness? The length of time you've had vertigo prior to the repositioning, having more than one episode of BPPV, and being an older age. So that's it for today. Please give us a quick thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment below if there's a topic you would like us to cover. See you next time.